Look around you. Roads, bridges, tunnels, skyscrapers, airports. None of this would exist without one thing. Machines. Massive, noisy, powerful machines that dig, lift, crush, haul, and build the very world we live in. Most people drive past construction sites without thinking twice. But if you stop and really watch, you'll see a complex choreography of steel giants, each with a specific job, each essential to the modern world. So in today's video, we're going on a journey through the machines that build our civilization. From the dirt movers that reshape the land to the cranes that touch the clouds. Let's get started. Before anything can be built, the ground itself has to be shaped. And that means one thing, earth moving. When you see an excavator, you're looking at the backbone of modern construction. That big hydraulic arm and bucket can do the work of an entire crew in minutes. Excavators don't just dig holes, they lift, load, hammer, grade, and even demolish. They're the all-rounders of any site. Then there's the skid steer loader. Small, agile, and built for tight spaces. It may look like a toy compared to the big rigs, but it's one of the most flexible machines ever made. With the right attachment, a skid steer can become a forklift, a snowplow, a trench digger, or even a small crane. On busy job sites, it's the Swiss army knife of machines. When the job calls for moving a lot of dirt fast, you'll find a wheel loader. These are the workhorses that scoop up mountains of earth or rock, load them into trucks, and clear entire sites in hours. They don't dig, they move. And when that dirt has to go somewhere else entirely, you bring in the dump truck. With massive steel tubs that tilt up hydraulically, they carry thousands of kilos per trip. Many have extra drop axles that lower automatically to spread the load and keep them within legal weight limits. For rough off-road sites, there's a variation called an articulated hauler, basically a dump truck with off-road DNA and the flexibility of a hinge in the middle. But there's one more earth mover that's often overlooked, the scraper. It's like a bulldozer and dump truck combined. The front blade scrapes the ground, collecting material into a hopper, and then carries it directly where it's needed before unloading it again. If you've ever seen a highway being built, chances are scrapers are carving those embankments. Once the dirt is moved, it has to be shaped perfectly. That's where the bulldozer comes in. The bulldozer doesn't haul. It doesn't dig deep. What it does do is move a lot of material quickly across short distances. Its wide tracks and powerful blade spread, level, and compact the ground. You'll see them flattening sites, clearing debris, or carving new paths through forests and rock. And for the fine details, there's the grader, that long, low machine with a blade underneath. Graders smooth out surfaces with millimeter precision. They're the reason roads are flat, airport runways are level, and foundations are true. Of course, the ground isn't stable yet. Loose soil settles over time, and that's a problem for any structure. Enter the roller compactor. Rollers come in many forms. Smooth drum for asphalt, sheep's foot rollers for clay, and pneumatic rollers that knead and seal the surface. Many also vibrate, shaking the soil into a denser, more stable base. It's not glamorous work, but without it, everything else would crumble. Few machines are as satisfying to watch as those that build roads. After all, roads are the veins of civilization, and they require extreme precision to last. For asphalt roads, you'll see pavers leading the pack. They spread hot asphalt in a smooth, even layer using a screed, a flat metal plate that levels the mix perfectly. Behind them, massive rollers follow in formation, compacting the new surface until it's smooth and durable. For concrete roads, there's another beast, the slip form paver. It continuously lays and shapes wet concrete without needing wooden molds or forms. 
This process is used for highways, curbs, and even airport runways, anywhere that needs seamless, continuous surfaces. When roads wear out, they don't just pile new asphalt on top. That would eventually raise the road higher and higher. Instead, asphalt milling machines grind off the old surface with a spinning drum of hardened teeth. The removed material is recycled, melted, and reused to pave again. It's noisy, smoky, and oddly mesmerizing to watch. Sometimes you'll see a whole paving train, a convoy of dump trucks feeding asphalt into pavers, followed by compactors working in perfect synchronization. It's like a moving factory, building a road one meter at a time. Now that the ground is ready, it's time to go vertical. And that's where cranes and lifting equipment take over. The most recognizable is the tower crane, the symbol of modern skylines. Standing hundreds of feet tall, it can lift entire sections of buildings, steel beams or concrete panels into place with millimeter precision. They're built piece by piece and often dismantled by smaller cranes once the job is complete. Then there are crawler cranes, which move on tracks and carry enormous loads, ideal for power plants, bridges, or massive industrial projects. If it's too heavy for a mobile crane, a crawler can handle it. For smaller jobs or rough terrain, there's the all-terrain crane, which can drive on roads and work on unpaved ground. And for extreme conditions, you've got rough terrain cranes, short, wide, and incredibly strong. Not everything needs a crane. Sometimes you just need a little lift. That's where boom lifts and scissor lifts come in. These machines elevate workers safely to high areas, like for painting, maintenance, or installation, replacing ladders and scaffolding with something faster and safer. For handling materials, telehandlers, telescopic handlers, combine the best of forklifts and cranes. They can extend forward, up, and down, delivering materials to hard-to-reach spots. Attach a bucket, fork, or winch, and they can do almost anything. And if you're working underground, that's another world entirely. While most construction happens above ground, some of the most important work happens below it. Out of sight, but absolutely vital. For deep foundations, you'll see pile drivers and drill rigs. Pile drivers hammer long columns, usually steel or concrete, deep into the ground to anchor tall buildings and bridges. Drill rigs do the same job by boring holes, then filling them with rebar and concrete to create what's called board piles. When you need to move underground utilities like water, gas, or cables without tearing up roads, you use a directional drilling machine. These incredible machines can drill horizontally under streets, rivers, or even buildings steering with precision. It's a whole hidden world of engineering. And for the biggest underground jobs, think subway tunnels or mountain highways. There's nothing more impressive than a tunnel boring machine. These colossal rotating heads chew through rock and soil while building the tunnel lining behind them as they move forward. Each one is custom built for its project and can be longer than a football field. Concrete is the backbone of modern civilization, and the machines that handle it are equally critical. Everyone knows the mixer truck, that giant rotating drum rolling down the highway. It's not just for looks. The drum keeps concrete mixed and fresh until it reaches the site. But sometimes gravity isn't enough to pour concrete where it's needed. That's where concrete pumps come in. These machines can push wet concrete through steel pipes at over 100 times atmospheric pressure, lifting it over buildings, through tight spaces, or down into deep foundations. For finishing large slabs, you'll often see ride-on trowels. Think of them like hovercrafts with spinning blades that polish concrete smooth before it hardens. And on huge sites, mobile batching plants mix fresh concrete on demand, eliminating the need for endless mixer trucks. If concrete needs to be sprayed, like in tunnels or retaining walls, 
Shotcrete machines use compressed air to blast it onto surfaces, layer by layer, until it forms a solid wall. Some machines are so specialized they only exist for one purpose, pipe layers, for lifting and placing huge sections of underground pipe with surgical precision, soil nail rigs, for stabilizing steep slopes or preventing landslides, wick drain machines that speed up drainage in soft clay, helping the ground settle faster, and grout plants used to inject liquid cement into weak ground to make it stronger. These are the unsung heroes of construction, the machines you might never notice, but that makes everything else possible. Not every piece of construction equipment is massive. Some of the most important ones are simple. Light towers to keep the work going after sunset, diesel generators for power in remote areas, air compressors for running tools like jackhammers, sandblasters, or paint sprayers. Without these, even the biggest dozer would be silent. Every road, every bridge, every skyscraper, they all exist because of this army of machines. Each one plays a small but vital role in a much larger story, how humans transform the planet. When you understand what each of these machines does, a construction site stops looking like chaos and starts looking like a symphony of precision. The next time you drive past one, take a second look. That excavator, that grater, that crane, they're not just machines, they're the tools that built our world.